One of the things that people are constantly telling me they're having problems with when they try to learn the guitar is that they can't remember the names of the chords, or they can't remember the chord shapes, or they can't remember which chord name goes with which chord shape, or they can't remember the names of the notes on the fingerboard. And they put this down to having a poor memory. But actually, that's not really the problem. On this video, we're going to take a close look at the process of learning and recalling anything you want to about guitar playing. So in many cases, people put the whole issue of not being able to remember things on guitar down to their belief that they have a poor memory. In fact, that's why many people take up guitar in the first place. They want to keep their mind active. Maybe they can't remember people's names and things like that. And they want to keep their mind active and they figure that playing a guitar will help them with that type of process. Actually, our mind automatically records everything. It's just like a giant big digital camera. So the issue is not remembering things. The real problem here that we need to identify is that we need to work on a system that will enable us to instantly recall the information. So the problem isn't remembering things. The problem is being able to recall the information. OK, now that we've identified exactly what the problem is, I'm going to show you an incredibly easy way to improve and refine your recall skills. You see, it all comes down to how you file away the information in your mind. Once you know how to do that, you won't have any glitches and you'll be able to instantly recall all the information that you've learnt about guitar playing. So let's go have a look at the process and see how it works. The idea is to create some question and answer cards. I'm just using 5x3 index cards that you can get from any stationery store. Uh, what I've done here is written the name of a chord that I'm wanting to remember. I've written on top what is the name of this chord. And I've written everything in, all the strings, where to put my fingers, uh, which strings are open. You could also write in which fingers you want to use. And on the flip side of this card, I have the answer. E minor. So the first side of the card has the chord shape and has all the information there except the chord name. What I'm wanting to do here is associate the chord shape with the chord name. Here's another example. On this card I've written what is the name of the notes in a D major chord. And on the other side of the card I have the answer. D F sharp and A. OK, let's have a look at how this system works. Once you've created your cards that have information that you want to remember about guitar playing or about music, you place them in a daily pile. So these cards we're going to look at each day and we're going to ask ourselves the questions that are on these cards. You can keep adding cards to this daily pile. Now I'm going to ask myself the first question here, what is the name of this chord? This is a chord that I've decided I want to remember. And I'm going to name this chord E minor. Now I'm going to check and see if I got that right. OK, I did. So if I got the answer right, it goes into a weekly pile. This is a pile of cards that I look at at the end of the week. I'm going to ask myself, this next question out of the daily pile. What is the names of the notes in a D major chord? And if I answer incorrectly, uh, for example, I'll answer this incorrectly. I'm going to say D, F and A. When I check it, I'll see that wasn't the correct answer. It really should be D, F sharp and A. So because I didn't get it right, I'm going to leave it in the daily pile. And I'm going to check back tomorrow, and it'll have some other cards in this daily pile. And if I get it right tomorrow, if I get the answer right, it will then progress 
to the weekly pile. Now if we got that question right at the end of the week, that card would move to our monthly pile. If we got it wrong, it would go back to our daily pile. So this is your own system of learning that you create. It contains information that you've decided that you want to learn on guitar, and the information moves from a daily pile to a weekly pile to a monthly pile. Once the information is in the monthly pile and you check it at the end of the month, if you get the answer right, you own the information. You don't have to do anything more with it. In fact, you can throw that card away.